On June 11, 1963, President Kennedy appeared on national television to ask Congress to enact landmark civil rights legislation. Now remember, this wasn't the days of CNN, where you have to fill a news cycle for 24 hours. When the President of the United States came on TV in 1963, it was important. And what he said was as follows. We are confronted primarily with a moral issue. It is as old as the scriptures and as clear as the American Constitution. If an American, because his skin is dark, cannot eat lunch in a restaurant open to the public, if he cannot send his children to the best schools available, if he cannot vote for the public officials who represent him, then who among us would be content to have the color of his skin changed? Who among us would be content with counsels of patience and delay? Dr. Dorothy Celeste Bolding Farabee, who is the subject of my biography and the topic of my talk this <coughs> evening, was an African-American woman born in 1898 in Norfolk, Virginia. She died in Washington, D.C. in 1980. During her lifetime, she uh, suffered all the indignities described by President Kennedy that night. But Dorothy was never content with counsels of patience and delay. As a physician and civil rights activist, she devoted her life to righting the wrongs articulated by President Kennedy. In 